I've always said that if I wasn't a body painter, I probably would have been a porn director uh, because I just love the, the nude body, both male and female. I think it's the first form of art, you know, on our planet. We come in all different shapes and sizes and colors and lines and this and that. So, uh, but a lot of people think it's taboo and you know, uh, fuck that. My venture in art came at a very young age. Um, uh, it was a way of me communicating with the world around me. Uh, my parents moved to the United States uh, with me when I was a child and you know, in school I didn't know anything. I didn't know how to speak English, nothing. And I just kind of took to art um, to communicate and that sort of stuck with me. Uh, throughout the years growing up. I did have one person that actually showed me or introduced me or kind of broke uh, the barrier down into painting because uh, I always just drew, illustrated and uh, my painting was always more in, in like graphic design. Everything was clean, precise lines. I, I didn't know how to let loose, you know, on a canvas or paper. And it wasn't until I believe my late teens that a friend of mine, a photographer at the time, Susan Miller, she put a canvas in front of me. She gave me some acrylics and she said, go to town. And I was really stumped because I didn't know how to go to town. But I did. I went to town. I just went crazy on the canvas. And that kind of was my introduction into uh, abstract painting or into, you know, self-expression. And from then on, I started painting. And, you know, and now I can't draw <laughs> to save my life, <laughs> but I can paint. You know, I can do everything with a brush. I went to school, uh, to the School of Visual Arts in New York City. Uh, graphic design, you know. Because um, as a painter, I didn't think I could really make a living. I had a painting class. And through that painting class, I started uh, trying to figure out who I was as a painter what my style was. And I came up with the movement of color. Growing up was very hard because I was growing up in US schools and in a Sicilian home. And the two do not share the same values whatsoever. So I, it got to the point where I, I left home. You know, I left home, wow, I think I left home at 16 and then 17, you know, like I was going back and forth. But the amazing thing that now as an adult I can say and I can see is that along the way, because I didn't have a mother or father figure, the people I would meet, they were my mother and father figure. People like drag queens, um, prostitutes, <laughs> drug dealers, uh, you know, like crazy people. <laughs> I learned from these people. I was so fortunate that all these people that I met along the way had a head on their shoulders. Because, you know, whether you're a prostitute, a stripper, a drug dealer, whatever you are in life, you have to have a head on your shoulder. Because if you don't have a head on your shoulder, you get into the bad stuff. You know, like, you start consuming drugs, you, you, you even might die. And this is why I never look down on those peoples and, and, and what they do is because many people that have their head on their shoulder that do that sort of stuff have gone to like pay college tuition, open restaurants, open nightclubs, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs>
So I'm very, I'm very fortunate in, in, in this way and very blessed that, you know, the universe or God, whoever, um, kind of led me to these people. I used to be a stripper and um, it was a gay strip joint and I had met a couple, a gay couple that had been together at the time for 20 years. I was, I believe I was 21. And this was my first introduction into like a gay relationship. You know, being a gay 21 year old, uh, you come across two men that have been together for 20 years, you're like, wow, I can also uh, be in, in a relationship for 20 years with another man, you know, so it was people like that that taught me about life. With uh, mastering my fine art and my painting style and everything and having shows, uh, moving around to different cities, um, I kind of fell into body painting. <laughs> Um, something that I was not expecting whatsoever, but it, I kind of fell into it because I was tired of having shows, art shows, where, you know, people come in, they eat all the food, drink all the wine, and they leave and forget what they saw. <laughs> um, I wanted to impact the viewers uh, in a way that they would not forget, you know? And, and my, actually my fine art, which was, you know, the movement of color, the, the play on color and the imagination, the, the body painting in the end made sense, you know? And one day I was uh, listening to Madonna. Music is a big inspiration of mine. And I started envisioning, um, painted models walking on a runway coming out of paintings because at the time I was also when I lived in New York City uh, I was really into fashion so everything for me was a runway fashion you know. I, I did a show where I had these big canvases going down a runway with models uh, painted to resemble them walking in front of them and then I had a solo show in an actual gallery, a huge gallery in New York City. And this was a kind of like uh, exercise for the viewers because I had paintings uh, and models. One painting by itself, then another painting with the model, the one painting by itself, another painting with the model. So you as the viewer had to look at the painting, you know, without a model then move to the next painting with the model and try to envision the model coming out of the painting and then move on to the next painting and envision yourself coming out of the painting and how did it make you feel and, and, and all this and all that. So then after that my body painting it just skyrocketed you know and I've been so fortunate because the body painting has taken me all over the world, literally. You know, I've met so many wonderful people. I've worked with big clients. Uh, I've seen many things, all due to the body painting. Having this space, uh, it's actually been wonderful. And, you know, I've always been one to know exactly what I wanted in my life and how to get there, but ever since I entered in here, it's kind of been, you know, new. Things just happen. They just f magically fall into place, you know? And one of the gallery managers that I had, uh, she suggested that I represent other artists besides myself. And I thought, hmm, that makes sense, you know, because uh, if it's just my work in here, you know, it's, uh, variety is better, you know. This here actually is my studio. 
it acts first as my studio, where I do all my painting, where I do everything, Filippo Ayoko. And then is the gallery. So when I started thinking of representing artists, I thought, hey, this is very strange to me because I'm an artist myself, you know? So what am I doing? I'm bringing competition into my own life, you know, like, but it, it was, now when I look, you know, I represent three artists that I think are absolutely amazing, you know? Uh, I even said to another artist that this artist that I was representing, their work was better than mine and theirs put together, you know? And when I said that, I, you know, um, it kind of like, it made me think for a minute. You know, in the sense that uh, it's not about me, I don't know. I'm a person that, I used to be a person where it was about me. With all my experience of working with galleries, being represented with galleries, showrooms, you know, publishers, I think that I have a good eye and a good sense of art, you know, pricing and selling and, and I'm very happy to do this for these artists. It doesn't like threaten me. I have uh, body painted uh, the human body into every imaginable environment from natural to artificial. And I think now, uh, yeah, you know, I, I still want to continue with the body painting and the fine art and the published art, uh, but I also have this uh, gallery um, and these artists that I need to take care of. So I think this is my life. Um, I'm a very busy, busy man. Uh, a, a lot of times I have no time to think of time or whatever. I want the galleries to succeed. I, I, I'm in a new place. I'm in a new country. I moved here without knowing anyone. So now I just have to make it happen for myself, you know, but I'm good at that. It's what I've always done.